Well, there are questions tonight about what caused a tire to fall off of a semi and kill a pregnant mother driving in the opposite direction. Melinda Cullen died in that accident Tuesday afternoon, which happened on Interstate 80 near Joliet. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov reports the truck may have been worked on just hours before the crash. Well, actually, the first thing I saw was a semi in the eastbound lanes, and I saw one of its tires was missing. Braidwood resident Rob Bishop knew something bad happened along this stretch of I-80 Tuesday afternoon, but he didn't know then that the brake drum from that truck's dislodged tire had already killed 38-year-old Melinda Cullen and her unborn baby, due in just 10 days. State police say the brake drum actually jumped I-80's median near Rowell Road and smashed into Cullen's windshield. I knew it looked bad. I didn't know the extent of it until later, but but my stomach just sank. Kaylee Davern drove past the accident and saw a man running for help. And he was pointing and he looked pretty panicked. Illinois State Police cited 60-year-old truck driver Antonis Sereva for unsafe equipment. They say he works for EDJ Trucking Incorporated, run out of this house. No one came to the door, but an unidentified man answered the phone and told our Roseanne Tejas, quote, the truck was in the shop the day before the accident. We are investigating the work that was done. Transportation expert Joe Schwederman says trucks are supposed to be inspected and certified. Of course, the inspections on tires are a very tricky thing because it's a very dynamic part of the truck. Another concern, road conditions. I drive that route all the time almost every day, and I'll tell you that that section of I-80 right there is so outdated. There's potholes everywhere. We drove that same stretch of I-80 today, and it is a bumpy ride. Now, tonight, Melinda Cullen's grief-stricken father-in-law tells us you couldn't ask for a finer mother. Their entire family is heartbroken. She leaves behind her husband and three young daughters. In the control room, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, what a sad story, Dana. Thank you.